Second challenge we bring you is the definition of a new ecosystem, because perhaps this energy industry is a combination of an ecosystem, if you will. Traditional players like us and new entrants are fighting and struggling in a new world where central and decentral energy have to coexist to realize both production and demand of renewables, to realize this fossil future faster, cheaper, more sustainable, and for everyone within reach. 41%. This is the number from IEA of total global emissions coming from electricity and heat generation. This should be zero. When we introduce new types of generation that's dependent on weather that we can't plan, like wind power and solar power, there is a need to fill the gap when there's no wind or no solar with some kind of production or a decrease in consumption. The only people that are allowed to contribute to the balancing market are the large industry players or the coal-fired or gas-fired power plants. If we want to make the solar and wind expansion work, we need to figure out how we can use all the available flexibility. But right now, what happens is that to participate in the balancing market, you need to come over a certain limit for the market provider to trust that you can do what you said you would. So how can we expand this trust from the big industry players down towards all the small scale assets that we have in the power system? To supply this from a single car charging or a single uh, PV inverter for a solar cell, then we need trust in the individual or trust in the company that supplied that. We in the power system call pre-qualification to get approved to be a balancing player. This is something that we need to figure out in order to be able to use small scale appliances. A typical residential battery is capable of discharging 5 kilowatts, which is very small. A thousand such batteries are like a small power plant, it's 5 megawatts. So it's starting getting interesting. As I see it, we really need different kinds of platform in the future system. And these platforms are serving partly different purposes. I, I think the protocol we're looking here for is mainly to reduce the entry barriers to um, provide balancing services. Because if you have a system that can sort of verify on an, an asset level that some kind of flexibility was provided. You could theoretically make that verification also distributed. So you could create a sort of a community supported balance system, if you will.